Okay, now a bullet fired from a pistol has mass uh, 8 gram and a muzzle speed of 352 meter per second. If the mass of the gun is 0 0.9 kilogram, what is its uh, recoil speed when fired horizontally? Uh, horizontally, uh, no angle. So again, this is uh, uh, looking, uh, it's fired horizontally. It didn't fire like at an angle like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, okay. So this is considered um, a one dimension. Yeah. One dimension. Now, uh, um, yeah. So this is the bullet and the pistol. Uh, bullet and pistol. So bullet. And this is the, the pistol. Uh, this the inside is the bullet. Okay. So uh, what I can say is um, okay. Uh, draw the situation. Okay. Uh, before fire. This is a uh, before. Before fire. Uh, this uh, ex before explosion. And this is the after explosion. After explosion, the pistol should recoil. Recoil means move to the back. Uh, okay. And then bullet go to the go forward. So uh, this one move to the back and this one move uh, forward. Uh, okay. So uh, we put that uh, pistol as number one, bullet as number two. Okay. Um, so uh, right. Uh, this 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 one is a mass of. This is mass two. Yeah. Because you eh, know no. Ah uh, yeah. This is the bullet. This is the bullet. Mass two, mass of the gun, uh, mass of the gun. This is uh, mass one. Okay. Uh, uh, he say that this speed. What is this speed? A by bullet fired. Uh, this means fired means after explosion. Okay. This is the velocity after. Uh, velocity after explosion. Velocity after. And this one refer to the bullet, isn't it? A bullet fired. A bullet fired from the pistol has this speed of 352 okay so this is uh, should be v2 the bullet the speed of the bullet I mean the the final the final speed of the bullet after explosion okay uh, so right now we want to find the recoil speed of the gun the recoil is should be the gun uh, so we want to find the Final speed of the gun. Final speed of the gun. So this is a V1. Uh, this is V1. Okay. One second. Okay. So we want to find the final speed of the gun. So uh, okay, maybe you can write it down over here. Uh, this one is a V. Uh, this one should be the V1. Okay. Uh, uh, and then this uh, V1. Uh, we want to find the V1. Okay, but we have the V. Do we have the V two? Uh, v two is move forward. Uh, move forward. We put positive value. Okay, put positive value. Uh, we move forward with uh, three five two. Uh, already in meter per sec. In already in uh, yeah. So three five two. Okay. Uh, so uh, initially they have the zero speed. Yeah. Uh, initially U one and U two is zero because initially. Uh, no movement, isn't it? No movement. Uh, only after explosion, uh, then only have recoil speed and the speed of the bullet. Okay. So, okay, we can use the conservation momentum here. You can use the conservation momentum. Ah, remember to change the, this, um, this uh, mass 2 into SI unit because this is a gram. You see that? This is gram, uh, this is kilogram. So, this is not SI unit. You, might, you need to change. Uh, you need to change. So, the mass 2 should be. Um, it uh you know you need to put kilogram so you need to put exponent negative three uh when you have the kilo uh you kept kilo exponent three you need to put the exponent negative three yeah about unit conversion please learn it carefully okay uh so okay we can do it yeah uh, use conservation momentum uh total initial momentum is equal to total final momentum so which is uh, m1 u1 plus uh, m2 u2 equal to uh, m1 v1 plus m2 eh? uh, sorry this is m1 v1 m2 v2 
Okay, right now what I can say is uh, because initial velocity is zero for both before collision. Uh, so if they are not moving, the velocity is zero. So we can say total initial momentum is zero. Total initial momentum is zero. Uh, because u1 zero, u2 zero. So total momentum, total initial momentum is zero. Uh, so we can also say that uh, the final momentum should be also zero. Understand? Zero equal to zero. Uh, okay. This is what I what this is what I mean is this is what I mean by the concept uh, uh, about conservation momentum. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you see that? Uh, the principle of conservation of linear momentum says that total momentum is zero uh, or constant if no external force on acted on the closed system. So the total momentum is zero. Uh, this is for the explosion case, uh, which I ex uh, explained before. Uh. Ah, I explained before about the total momentum is zero. Why total momentum is zero? Uh, th this is the questions. Yeah, total momentum is zero. Okay, uh, but we don't write zero over here. Uh, we want to find uh, v one. We want to find v one. Okay, so let's find out. Uh, so m one is uh, what 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 is m one again? What is ah? Uh, this is the gun mass of the gun m one zero point nine. Okay, put in the 0 0.9 there, 0 0.9, V1, and then mass 2, mass 2 is uh, 8 gram, uh, which is uh, 8 exponent. Remember, change to SI unit. Don't put gram there. Don't put gram. This one, is, this one is kilogram. This one is gram. You need to change to SI unit, kilogram. Make all in, make all in SI unit. Uh, make all in SI unit. Make sure SI unit first. Uh, so, uh, this one is... Um, 8 exponent, uh, 8 exponent negative 3, yeah, uh, exponent, neg 8 exponent negative 3, and then V2 is, uh, V2 is, uh, okay, make it smaller, yeah, uh, V2 is uh, 352, uh, 352, so put in the 352 there, okay, so let's calculate, now let's calculate, aha, uh -huh, I got the answer is uh, negative, um hold on a second so v1 is a negative value negative value uh, negative value uh 3.13 3.13 meter per second uh why negative uh why negative because um okay don't uh later okay so here we see negative so that's why we can say uh, this is the recoil speed Recoil means they move backward. Uh, yeah? So it move backward, you see? Recoil, yeah? Recoil. So the negative sign shows that I go, uh, you know, recoil backward. You see that? The negative sign. Uh, so uh, to the left, uh, we need to say the direction to the left. Remember, yeah? Because uh, speed, uh, speed is just magnitude. But never mind, we just put also the direction uh, more complete. Okay? So if direction is to the left, uh, okay, negative, uh, three point negative three point five three is correct, okay. Uh, to the direction is to the left, it, yeah, it move to the left, yeah, correct lah. Uh, negative, yeah, v one you get negative, correct. Okay, why it must be negative? Of course, to be logic because we want uh we want this whole thing, yeah, because we know that uh you see uh you see you see here because before uh. Initial momentum is zero, you see? Zero equal to uh, m1 v1 plus m, uh, m2 v2. So, so um, this one, this one is uh, supposed to be zero. So, how to get zero? Uh, how to get zero? So, if this is a positive value, yeah, if m2 v2, yeah, the bullet go to the front, positive value, M1, V1 need to be a negative value, need to be a negative value, okay? Then only can be cancelled, can be cancelled, cancel become zero, isn't it? Logic, isn't it? Uh, or we can also uh, think like this, yeah? Um, yeah? Zero equal to M1, V1 plus M2, V2. Uh, this one go to the, uh, just move uh, this one to the other side. So we have, um, uh, yeah? So we have uh, m1 v1 yeah i mean the m2 v2 move to the other side 
become a, a negative m2 v2 ah you see ah so you can see that the v1 need to be in opposite direction to the v2 you see that ah so the negative sign shows what it shows that the v1 is opposite opposite v2 ah must ah opposite v2 since now your um since now your since now your v2 is uh, going to the right yeah your v2 is go positive yeah your v2 is positive so uh, your v1 need to be negative yeah because the negative sign here the negative sign shows that the v1 is opposite direction to v2 uh, yeah? so your bullet bullet go forward a uh, bullet uh, go forward uh, your bullet go forward your gun recoil recoil backward ah uh, that's what yeah must be opposite direction okay so that's it for this question see you in the next one